guys, in this video we'll talk about HTML radio buttons and how we can create radio buttons in HTML and what's the purpose of radio buttons. So the purpose, the main purpose of radio buttons is to allow user to click or select only one option for from some group of options which you have provided that user. For example, if you would want to user allow to select only one option then you would use the radio buttons but if you would want to allow user to use more than one option in your particular group uh, then you would allow would be creating checkboxes which we previewed in previous video so let's have a look how we can create radio button and radio button is pretty much the same we start with input then we go type and then we will have name and then we will have value attributes okay and then we close this off and type will be in, the, in for radio buttons radio okay for name we will specify the group name for this particular uh, group we want to create for example we would want to create a gender we would want to user allow only select one uh, for example, we would want to ask him who is he, is he a male, is he a female or or anything other. So we would create a group gender, gender, okay, Gen, gender, gender, and for value we will simply specify, for example, male, and we could create another two radio buttons, like another gender, we would create female, okay. And for third one, for third option, we would leave him other. And then after these radio buttons, we specify what we want user to see on the screen. And there you can write anything you want. I am um, male or man or whatever. Okay. For and let's put a break tag so it pushes to next line. Up uh, this next uh, radio button, and then we will say I. I am a woman or woman okay and then we will put another break tag so it pushes this and here you simply could write other and these are values which are getting displayed on the screen and are visible actually on your website but this is how you prepare them and yes this name is the group which in which group is these particular radio buttons and after that you specify values these values like i mentioned and i was explaining you before when we use some backend scripting language like php we can save them in database and this is those these are those values which will be saved in database and then we could create let's say another break tag and create another input for button input type is equal and as you remember for button to create button in form we use submit type okay and for value you use whatever you want this button to be I will the name of this button I will create it save okay and now let's save it and let's preview it in our browser let's refresh and you see I am a man I am a woman and other if I click I am a man and I would try to check I am a woman as well, it wouldn't allow me. Because it allows, uh, radio buttons allow you to check only one option from given options. But for example, we could create another, for example, group. Whatever group it could be, I will just duplicate this, I will put it down. And for this I would say simply group 2. It could be anything else, it could be gender, or it could be, for example, a, a fruit, fruit, okay, and I would say apple, apple, okay, and then I will create another one for pear, pear, and before them I, we could write some label, for example, asking user some question. Label, okay. And what fruit do you like best? Like, what fruit do you like best? 
so he is able to select only one of these and then let's make sure that our break tags are in place so we push every next one in new line and let's save this and you will now you will see that this group works independently from this group and we will be able to check only one from this group which name is gender 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 and we will be able to select only one from this group which name is fruit and fruit let's save this let's go back to our browser refresh and you see i am a man uh, you could select i am a man or I'm other or i am a woman but if you would and if you would select what fruit do you like best you will see that you are able to select only one of these apple or fruit because this is another group and we specify this group with this name attribute and if 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 we would want we would, could could create another third group for example i will just copy this and i could add it at the top on the top of these and would say what is your name for example who are you or who are you for example man woman and so on let's save this and you see who are you i'm a man i'm a woman or i other so user is able to select only one from this group which we specified with gender 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 okay and as this is another group what fruit do you like name is fruit fruit so this group is related to fruit and if we, we could create another group and another how many groups we want but the difference is that name specifies the name of that particular radio button group from which you want to allow user to select only one option not more than one so you see that from these three we can select only one and from these two we can select only one and uh, as you see if we select here it gets selected and if we select here it gets selected and stays selected only in this group but one option only so yes guys this is pretty much about ready buttons this is how you create them and this is how they work and if you enjoyed this video please leave a like under this video subscribe to my channel and see you in next videos